channel and if you're new here hello my name is Emily and today I'm going to be talking about getting eyelash extensions this was the first time I ever have gotten eyelash extensions and I already love them a lot but I've only had them for a few days so I'm basically just gonna tell you like what it was like to get them how much it costs and just like my experience having them and then I'll do an updated video or like put updates on my Instagram or something of what they look like after a few weeks and if they fell out and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell you all about getting eyelash extensions. So basically, I've never had eyelash extensions before and I really wanted to get them. And I've been wanting them for like kind of a long time, but they're really expensive, at least where I live, they can be like $200. And I've like heard some people on the internet say that they can get them for like 50 where they live, but they're usually like $200. So then I was kind of waiting and then a girl, <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath because I'm like talking so fast. <laughs> so then a girl that I follow on Instagram who goes to my college, she posted a picture of her eyelashes and she said she got extensions and she tagged the girl who did them. So I went to the girl's page and all of her pictures looked amazing. Like she seemed like she really knew what she was doing and obviously I kind of trusted it because she had done somebody that I know's eyelashes. So I contacted her and she said they were only like $70 and then obviously you do a tip and that's for classic and then volume were like 90. So I was like, this is my opportunity to get them. And I also really wanted to see if I liked them before my spring break, which is in a few months, because I wanted to get them for when I go to Cancun. And so I wanted to like test them out before that to see if I liked them and stuff. So yeah, so I made an appointment with her and I actually just got them done a few days ago. I got them done on New Year's Eve. So I wanted them for New Year's. And basically it took her about an hour and a half. You go with no makeup on and then they just put like a single lash on each one of your individual eyelashes. So like one fake lash per one real lash. And she did most of my eyelashes. I have pretty decently thick and like long eyelashes to begin with. So I think she said that she wasn't gonna do every single one but she did like majority of them. And that next time if I wanted them even more full she could put them on every single one. And then if you get volume lashes, it's like a little fan of like two or three lashes. And then they do, so they do like the little fan of multiple lashes per single eyelash. And that's if you want them just like more fluffy or if you don't have a lot of natural lashes and you want more volume, you might get like the volume set. So I might do that in the future, but yeah, sorry. I feel like I'm literally talking so fast right now. I'm just like, <laughs> it's cause I'm excited. And I also drink a ton of coffee today and I don't drink coffee ever. So sorry. Yeah, also if anybody's noticing that I look like super greasy and gross, it's because you cannot shower or you can't get them wet for a few days. Some people said like you can shower right away if you avoid your eyelashes and it can't be steamy, but I was like that just sounds really risky. So basically they say 24 hours and some people say 48 and my lash tech said 48. So um, even like I was out on New Year's Eve and it was snowing and I was like covering my eyelashes because the snow was like really wet. So yeah, I haven't been able to shower yet. So I'm in a shower after this, but that's why... I look gross but yeah so you can't shower so you have to plan for that like if you're getting them for an event and if the event is like that night then you should shower before you get your lash extensions because you won't be able to shower right after unless you're like super careful and it probably just wouldn't end well but yeah it's basically just so that the eyelash glue can cure and like dry completely so now that it's been that long i'm going to take a shower and then some, I guess, tips about getting eyelash extensions is that, first of all, you don't need mascara. I've heard that some people put mascara on them, but like, if you feel like you need mascara, I feel like that completely defeats the purpose. Like, why would you spend that much money to get eyelash extensions if you need mascara? I could see maybe at the very end, like if you need a fill and they're really sparse and you have something that you need to like, an event that you need to go to and you don't have time to get them filled, I guess that would make sense, but like, you shouldn't need mascara um, and if you feel like you need mascara then you should I would say like you should probably ask for them to be more like dramatic next time just because if you're gonna spend that much money on eyelash extensions I feel like you shouldn't have to bother with mascara or take the time to use mascara so then also with um, makeup you can use eyeliner eyeshadow all that stuff but you just need to be really careful because First of all, you don't want to use stuff with oils in it. Any kind of makeup or makeup, like face wash or makeup remover that has oils in it is what will break down the glue. So you need to use stuff that's water-based. Um, and with like face washes and stuff, it's pretty easy. It'll say oil-free. If it doesn't say oil-free, I would just find something else because um, it should say oil-free if it's oil-free. Duh. And then with makeup, it's like a little bit harder. Um, definitely with like your foundations and stuff, a lot of those have oils in them. So just try and keep them away from your eyes. And when you're doing your concealer, just try it to make sure that you don't get it on your top eyelashes. And then obviously you can put mascara on your bottom eyelashes. Um, but yes, yeah, so, and then you can use eyeliner. A lot of people online said that you should just use like an eyeshadow or like a powder eyeliner, but they did say you can use liquid eyeliner. Just don't use waterproof makeup because that's really hard to get off and you'll have to like scrub it and you could pull out your eyelashes. 
And then another tip that I found out is that you can wear eyeshadow and stuff. Obviously, just make sure you clean it off really well when you like, take your makeup off well. But because I got mine on New Year's Eve, I wanted to put glitter all over my eyelids for New Year's Eve. And the glitter was not a good idea because glitter is hard to get off. And it was like I had glitter herpes all over my eyes. Like the glitter would not go away. And it was getting in my eyelashes because my eyelashes are so much like fuller now. They were like catching all of the glitter. And so that was kind of uncomfortable. And I couldn't actually like wash my eyes. I was like able to take off my makeup, but I couldn't wash my eyelashes until it had been those 48 hours. So I've had like pieces of glitter in my eyelashes so i would just say don't do any crazy makeup those first 48 hours because you can't get them wet and you can't properly wash them so yeah just plan ahead if you have events like get them a few days before that and then just like don't touch them don't put makeup on for a few days and just let the glue cure and don't be messing with them so that they last longer but i haven't lost like a single lash yet maybe a couple that i haven't noticed but i did not lose any so yeah, so I've had like glitter all up in my eyelids. So I would say glitter is like maybe a no-no. I would do more like shimmery stuff. And then, yeah, I don't know what else. So yeah, you can wash your eyelashes. I saw a bunch of videos online and I think I might make another video where I show you how to wash them. But basically, um, the best way that I saw was using a clean makeup brush because when you use like a makeup pad, like a little cotton pad or anything like that, the cotton can like come off and it gets stuck in your eyelashes and it can also like pull on the extension. So you don't wanna use anything that's gonna shed. And then a towel can just be a little bit rough. So using a makeup brush is perfect because it's like the soft bristles and it won't get stuck. So you basically take your oil-free cleanser in your hand, wet your brush, and then like move it around in your hand so it gets foamy. I mean, I guess you could put it right on the brush, but you want it to like foam up, um, preferably. But you can also use like micellar water, which doesn't really get foam up. And then take the brush and then just close your eye and just scrub and be really gentle, but you definitely want to like get at the base of them um, and then also go like underneath. But the base of the lashes is where most of your oil buildup and makeup buildup is going to be. And that can like really weigh on your natural eyelash and like it can damage your natural eyelash if there's a bunch of like gunk there. You can also get like a clogged pore or like a sty, um, which is also kind of just goes with like people think, oh, that sounds like so much work having eyelash extensions. But if you think about it, when you don't have eyelash ex extensions, you just put your whole face under the water and like wash your eyes anyway. So like you're normally cleaning your eyes. It's just that with eyelash extensions, you just have to do it like a little more gently and um, you can do it in the shower just like i would just everything needs to be gentle so don't like go in the shower and go like this because that's what i do i just like put my face under the water and go like this and just like scrub my eyes and um so don't do that but it's really not that bad and then you can use like a blow dryer on cool or you can use a fan but i just use my hands so i like afterwards i kind of dab them lightly with a towel to get like a lot of extra moisture off and then i um take my little the, your eyelash technician will give you like a mascara wand that's like never been used obviously like a clean mascara wand to brush them so right after i've dried them just a little bit with a towel i take the little spoolie thing and i brush them up into place and then i like fan my eyes and then i brush again and then fan my eyes and i just do that for a couple minutes so that they're like drying correctly and then once they are all the way dry i'll brush them one more time and once they're dry they become like fluffy again and yeah okay i'm like talking so fast but i hate it when videos that are trying to be informative are just like rambling on so i'm trying to just give you as much information as possible quickly so yeah um trying to think of what else yeah they're really pretty um i kind of i took pictures of what i liked to my lash extension appointment um i took pictures off of her instagram just because like obviously if she's done it then she could probably recreate it and then i also took like a couple pictures that i found online of other people's eyelash extensions to show her the look that i liked and then i also told her that i wanted a very very slight cat eye so like when you look at it it doesn't look like a cat eye but she did do longer ones on the end because um i have pretty round eyes so i feel like a cat eye kind of helped with that but you can get lots of different styles um, so the girl that did my lashes told me that she was doing a 10 millimeter up to a 14 millimeter So they do like varied lengths depending on what part of the lash line they're working on um, So I'm pretty sure most lashes go up to like 15 centimeters or some go up to 14 So she gave me pretty long ones and that's because I have naturally long pretty long thick eyelashes So they're able to hold the lash up and it won't damage them because they can carry the weight and the length of that um, But if you have shorter lashes, they probably won't give you as long of ones I think there's like a rule of thumb that they usually only go three or four centimeters maybe or millimeters Sorry millimeters longer than your natural lash, but it'll still look really 
good on you because it's still gonna be a lot longer than like what you normally have um, and probably a lot longer than what you could do with mascara so it'll still look good no matter what but you might not get like the longest lash length but yeah my lashes were pretty long to start with and then they also do different types of curls so there's like an A curl or not an A curl maybe there is there's like B curl C curl C, C curl, D curl, I don't know. I don't know all the letters, but there's different types of curls and it's just how curly they are. And she did a C curl on me, which I think is like a pretty standard curl. So they obviously go up, but they're not like too curly. And that's also because my natural lashes are already like kind of go up. They don't go straight out. So a C curl was fine. But if your lashes are more like downward facing or straight, they might give you a curlier one. So that they actually are curled looking on you so there's like lots of different variables and obviously you can ask your uh lash tech what for what you want but you also have to trust them because they know like what your lashes can handle and what won't damage your natural lashes because everything from the length to the type of lash there's silk synthetic or mink um and yeah the the curl of them the the length of them and then also how they're applied one lash per one fake lash per real lash all of that is like what can determine if your natural lashes get harmed so if somebody isn't doing all of those things correctly that is what will make your natural lashes potentially be damaged because it's like pulling on the follicle or like pulling your natural lashes out but yeah most most lash techs i feel like try and follow all those rules so just make sure that you do your research and that the person that you're going to is doing everything properly so that your natural lashes do not get harmed because that would be horrible um so you go in for a fill every two to three weeks depending on how well they last um i've obviously had them for a few days so i will update you guys on how long i needed to go before a fill and yeah you when you pay for a fill you usually pay like a lot cheaper than what it originally cost but some places i think some places or people will let you come in like four weeks later if they still look good and they just base it off of like how many of your lashes are left so if you still have 50 percent of your fake eyelashes um your lash extensions then it's still considered a fill but if you've lost more than 50 percent then it's considered like a full new set and so some people go off of that so like you could come in weeks and weeks later and if you still have 50 percent they'll still do a fill where some lash techs i don't think they really care about how many are left it's more just like if you come in after three weeks they don't consider it a fill and it's a new set so just depends on who you go to and also if you are somebody who has really really good lash retention and you can go longer than three weeks you might want to find somebody who will charge you based on how much you have left because it would suck if you really didn't need to go in after three weeks and you really only needed to go in every four or five weeks and then they were charging you more because it's not a fill anymore so i think it's all dependent on the person but i think most people need it by three weeks and most people advise that you go in every two to three weeks anyway just because they'll start to look sparse and funky but i don't know how that's gonna work for me i don't know if they'll last really long and it's also just how you take care of them and everything so yeah but i love them i'm not sure how well you can see them so i'm gonna zoom in oh yeah look at that close up girl oh this is nice and close and personal but yeah so there's my lashes They look pretty good. Look, I think they look really good. They're really nice and fluffy and they're just so full. They like touch my eyebrows, so I think they look amazing. And yeah, so I think they look good. Oh my gosh, this is too close for comfort. Let's go back out. So yeah, I think they look really good and I'm really happy with them. I really want to take a shower, so I'm going to go do that. And like I said earlier, I'm sorry if I was like talking really fast and kind of all over the place, but I'm just kind of spewing everything I know and I just wanted to get it out fast and not like take forever to tell you because I'm sure if you're on this video, you just want some information. So I'd also just like to say that I'm obviously not a lash technician. I am not like a licensed lash person. This is just what I learned and my experience from getting eyelash extensions. And this is also my first time getting them. So like I said, I'll update on after having them. But this is everything I learned from other people's videos from my lash technician, what she told me and from um, the inter internet. So obviously I think there's like a lot of times conflicting information. So just go with what your lash technician tells you. Um, because they probably know best but these are just some tips if you're thinking about getting eyelash extensions this is what it was like for me and yeah
I recommend getting them, but obviously you'll just have to see for yourself. This is my first time, so I'll update if I like them or not and how long they last. And I hope this video was informative and please comment anything down below. And like I said earlier, I'm obviously not a professional. So if I got anything wrong, obviously let me know. Don't get mad at me. And yeah, so see you guys next time. Bye.